morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meaty69. Welcome back to the channel. So we are now up the top of the chart. We are on tier 10. And today we are going to look at the lowest DPM tank in tier 10. Top of the tier. The tier that everybody wants to get. But what is the lowest DPM tank? Now there are a couple. Um, and I actually thought for a moment that the Kranwagen was the lowest uh, amount of the DPM in tier 10, but I was wrong. Obviously, yesterday we looked at this tank, this CC1 Mark II, which is the lowest DPM tank in tier 9. So, of course, the lowest DPM tank in tier 10 is its brother, the Minotauro. Now, I absolutely love the Minotauro. Absolutely love it. Of course, yes, it's the lowest DPM tank in the game, but this tank right here is the classic example like the ultimate classic example to show you guys that dpm is not everything dpm isn't everything it is not all about dpm yes dpm is nice in certain tanks if you're in a medium like the object 140 or the leopard one or the t62 or tanks like that yes of course you need dpm but if you're in a tank like this that has an immense amount of armor, that has a great gun, uh, then the DPM is not everything. And of course, it does have that auto reloading system with the reverse shell. But as long as you don't shoot that reverse shell, then you're not too bad. Just like the tier 9. So the turret on this thing is 240 millimeters. But not only that. The whole of this thing is 270 millimeters thick. Overall, the front of this plate, is, uh, the front of this tank is a very, very difficult to penetrate. And if you're in a holdout position, uh, then not much is going to be able to penetrate you. Uh, so the DPM, 1,845. When you consider tanks like uh, the Leopard 1, 3,000. 800 or 3700 that is absolutely crazy when you look at tanks like uh the object 263 uh three, almost 4000 compared to 1845 that is a massive difference like a massive difference it's if you play it with the reverse shell it's going to take you almost two minutes to be able to clear uh, a mouse like, that's crazy. It's going to take you two minutes non-stop shooting that last shell uh, with... Uh, so, it's, yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Of course, it has that reload time in between each shot as well at 3.53 seconds. So, the auto-loading time, not much different to the tier 9, if I'm honest. 21.73 seconds for that first shell uh, or the last shell. 9.96 uh, seconds for the second shell. And then 9.05 for the third shell so if you just use it as a third shell or the first shell and only the first shell that becomes around about a 12 and a half second reload so a 12 and a half second reload for a tank that does 490 that is still not too bad and that then the dpm becomes much much better so if you just play this tank as a single shot gun and only use the second shell and the third shell for backup then obviously the dpm will become much much better um so yeah 490 alpha penetration 289 on your ap 374 on your heat and 72 on your he so penetration wise not bad at all average damage as i've said is 490 uh 410 on your heat and a nice 630 on your he aim time not great at 4.2 same as the gun dispersion at 0.398 and it does have 10 degrees of gun depression not quite 13 degrees like the tier uh, 9 has got but 10 degrees we can work with 10 degrees is is all you need you don't need any more than 10 degrees and of course only a 34 kilometers per hour speed so it's not the quickest of tanks but i'll tell you it is it's a it's a very nice tank it's a very nice tank i i love this tank and in fact even though it is one of the lowest dpm tanks in or it sorry even though it is the lowest dpm tank in tier 10 it really doesn't need that dpm and like i always say like and the whole point of this series is 
It isn't about always bat DPM. If this tank had DPM, even with using the reverse shell, if it didn't have the reverse shell, or if it had just a single shot gun, then it would be completely broken. Some will actually say it is already overpowered, even with the low DPM. I'm not quite sure, it, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna sit there and say it's not OP, and I'm, I don't really wanna sit there and say it is OP. It's somewhere in the middle. Like, it is a very, very strong tank. Um, but yeah, if you play it like a single shot gun, um, then it becomes even better. But of course, you, you, you still have them three shells if you need it. Uh, and when you're doing 504 alpha there, then yeah, that becomes very, very nice. So we've got one shell left, and of course, we do not want to use that shell. And just like I said yesterday, you've got to sometimes try to stop yourself. Sometimes you have the shots, and yes, I, I always say on an auto-reloading auto reloading gun, if you've got the shot, take it. But that is for a normal auto-reloading gun. When you've got an auto-reloading gun with a reverse shell, that is completely different, because the final shell is a very, very, long reload uh, but usually i would say if you've got the shot take it because by the time you reload your next shell you might not have that shot but when you've got a 20 second reload you might like here like here i've got to wait <coughs> i've got to wait for that shot and if i wouldn't have waited for that shot <coughs> excuse me <coughs> if i wouldn't have had to wait for that shot i would have been able to take more damage or get more damage but i was patient I waited and ultimately I missed the shot because of it. And the same here, I could take the shot, but that means I'm not going to kill him and I'm on a 20 second reload. And at this point, I mean, I'm gonna miss the shot here, I think. Uh, am I gonna miss it? Yes, so I'm not even gonna take it. But now I didn't take the shot, I have three shells left and there is only a Death Star left. So as long as uh, no one does any damage to this Death Star, hopefully I'll be able to get all three shells out. So there's one, uh, a bit low, but I'm not, able to get all three and we do uh, we do get the kill but not as much damage but that battle was a classic example it was a classic example of just holding off and not going too quickly and that's exactly what i did i was patient i could have took the shot if i really wanted to but i wasn't i'm not a damage farmer you know i don't sit there and just constantly worry about damage uh, that's not me i don't worry about that i just worry about winning and i worry about helping my team uh, and that's exactly what i did so here no medium we got two mediums and a light tank no medium wants to push the middle so of course with my 10 degrees of gun depression with my 240 millimeters plus of turret armor i was going to go up the middle here and hold it for the team that is until the enemy was started to cap base c and i think okay if there's a couple in the middle and a couple by base c because they've caught that pretty quick i don't really want to go that side so instead I'm going to go to the middle, the other side, because it's more safer for me to be this side than it is the other side. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So there is two mediums. Of course, they will become my main focus, but I do have to be careful of those heavies. So there's the E100, there's the Minotaur, there's the object, uh, but I really want to clear these guys. These are the spotters. These are keeping them spotted. And as you can see there, 539 roll. So what I want to do, really, I should have reloaded the, the first shell again and then i could have destroyed the t62 with my next two shells and still kept the final shell uh, but you know i didn't bother and again i maybe kept him alive because of that so you can it can change the outcome of the game and when you miss shots like that it then just becomes an absolute waste uh, so i hate missing shots here and again just like i said in the last video sometimes you have to tempt yourself uh, in not firing that last shell and also sometimes you've got to remember not to fire because a lot of us will forget a lot of us will just see the shot and think i take it uh, and f f damn it, I've got now a 20 second reload. So one shot there into the E100. Now we are losing on supremacy points. So uh, we're going to have to uh, come back and we're going to have to hurry up and get some kills. Otherwise, it will be game over. So as you can see, if you hold down, you will get bounces. You will get bounces in this tank because it is a very strong tank when it comes to armor profile. Now, if it did not have the armor profile that it's got, then of course, I would be sitting there screaming for more DPM. But because it's got the armor profile, it really doesn't need DPM. I mean, this guy here, 60 TP, no problem whatsoever. And again, I've now got a tank right in front of me with a shell loaded, but I just can't shoot him. I need to wait. There we go. One second. As soon as we reload, 
bang. Now, if I really wanted to, I could push forward and take one of these kills because I need a kill. So we've got five seconds left and I'm just going to sit there and think, do you know what? If I reload both shells, I forgot. I forgot and I literally took the final shot with less than a second left on my reload. So that means I've now got 20 seconds left to wait. If I would have waited, I would have been able to take this guy out as well. And when they're massively winning on supremacy points, then it's a worry. So again, here, I've now got the one shell reloaded. Do I sit and wait for the second shell or do I take the shots? And this time I am going to wait. So I've got two shots bang and i was hoping to kill the 60 tp but he's gonna die anyway and then we've just got this e100 so again he's on 1200 do i wait or just fire my gun at this point he's uh he's almost a one shot we're gonna get that one shot and we are not going to get the second shot so uh very good game uh we've got a bit of block damage there we've got a bit of damage but this tank is a prime example of why dpm is not everything so i hope you enjoyed the series guys i might now have a couple of days off without making a video i might make a video it all depends on what is going on in my life of course i've got a new baby now i'm going to go back to work soon uh, but i might have just a couple of days uh, I, I can't really say at the minute because of course i'm making this video like two weeks before the uh, the before today uh, as you guys are watching it so the, i'm actually making this video before the baby's even born so i'm not sure what's going to happen i'm just going to now enjoy my two weeks break uh well i would have already enjoyed my two weeks break before you've watched this um so i'll be back in in a couple of days maybe tomorrow we will see so i hope you enjoyed it guys i'm midzy 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye